Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. I am also doing well. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today we'll talk about how we can create our AMI like Amazon machine image like custom AMI and what the benefit of that custom image uh, like custom AMI and how we can create that uh, EC2 instance or app server from that uh, custom AMI. So let's move on to the topic guys. So for that, let's go to the AWS console. So let me explain like how we can create that AMI, right? So how it is work like basically. So from the base image, right? First we have to create our app server and in that app server, whatever required software we need, right? Those software we have to install in that app, in that uh, by using user data or manually we have to log into that uh, instance and then you have whatever customization you need, right? Security or maybe some services running uh, those things we have to do that or some which region you want to uh, provide that uh, particular image then we can deploy directly to that particular region right once it is created what the benefit basically benefit if i talk about like uh, when we are launching right like uh, auto scaling or maybe when we are doing the auto scaling especially in auto scaling right auto scaling what you guys it is happening like uh, uh, automatically your app server it's automatically it has to come up right uh, when it is uh, as per your configuration right so that should become like whatever your app server required software is re needed right those things should be installed in that uh, instance right so if you have the custom ami right so it will be easy to come like uh, that a lot of work it will be reduced right and it will be like uh, performance also your application will be very fast right so that's one one good benefit uh, for this uh, like uh, uh, custom AMI, right? And uh, there are a lot of other benefit also, and you can, uh, once it is done, right, you can put it that image to in marketplace also. That there are many use case also you can see here, okay? So I will give this uh, link to this video description. And if you not yet watch my previous video about the auto scaling, right? In the auto scaling, how we can use this custom AMI, right? So please take a look that also I have already demonstrated in my previous section. So let's move on to this AWS console. So let me create one here, EC2 instance with our customized uh, whatever we need, right? By using that. So let me give that, suppose app. Okay. Let me select here, to group. Select this one. Go to the advanced section. In this user data section, right? We'll install some predefined software, like a one kind of uh, like a static web page. We'll deploy in this uh, by using this user data, right? So let me show you that. So I have what I have done. I have created this one. So these all I have already explained in the load balancer video. So if you not yet watch that, please take a look that uh, in that user data all these things in my load balancer previous video. I will give that uh, link to this video description. So what basically we are doing, we are installing the HTTP server and then we are deploying one index.html or you can say like one static web page, right? And then we are starting that HTTP and then we are enabling, right? So let's launch this instance. So now this instance is run. Let's see. Now it is in pending state. Right? So once this instance is run, right, then only we can create our image, right? This is the section we can create our image, okay? So now it is running, right? So what we have done that by using that user data, let me show you that. So let's drag that public IP or public DNS. I think it's fine. It will take some time because it has to install those uh, HTTP. HTTP is nothing but like a Apache web server, right? So uh, by using that, we can deploy our uh, like uh, what we can say. We can deploy our web application. So now this is the application came right. So let me quickly launch one more EC2 instance. Let me show you that which is I am not using this uh, what you can say this custom uh, like uh, custom data right. Whatever user data I am providing here, I I will not use that one. So let me show you that. Suppose I am giving test okay. Everything will be there as it is. Here I am selecting the security group. In that user data section, I am not putting anything. This is I am creating from what I can say Amazon base image. Whatever Amazon Linux system is providing, right? That one only I am taking. 
So in that, if you see, right? So by the time, let, let me create that image. So this instance is running, right? So let me go to select this instance, go to action, image and template, right? Now key, create image, right? If you click here, you can give that image also. If you want, you can give some description option. Right? And by default, whatever when we are launching instance, right? That whatever storage volume, VBS volume we have given, that one, if you want, you can add also in that image and the remaining all. And this, this is like a, uh, you are tagging like together both, like image and snapshot, right? Or if you want, you can tag separate also. So that is up to you. So let me create that. Now my AMI creation is done. If you see here, go to that AMI section. If you go here, AMI. You can see that AMI just now we created, right? So this is the AMI we have created. Now it is still in pending state. Okay. So let me give some name here. Okay. So this image is done, right? I have launched one more instance, right? Test instance. Let me show you in this what it is happening. Select this. It should not be nothing because here web server itself is not running, right? It can't be reachable. Because here I have not installed that HTTPD, right? Apache web server, right? So see, this is not a rich event. Since here it is nothing is running, right? So now let me show you. Now I will launch one more instance, which I will not use that custom data, whatever user data I provided, right? In the user data section, that I will not use. So let's go to launch instance. Now this time I will select my own AMI, right? So let me show you that. Custom something OK. Now here instead of this one, right? We can select our own aim. Let me show you that. Go to browse. Pieces. Go to my AMI section. OK. Here it has to display that whatever image we have created, right? So see we have created this is the image, right? So let's select this one. So now, now it is our our base image, right? So from this one, right? It is just like that image type. That This process will be without keeper because now I am not doing that SSH. Okay. Now launch this instance. Launching failed. Why? Because AMI is pending. Oh, sorry. This AMI is still in pending. So let me check that. AMI, what it is happening there? Still, it is pending. Still, okay. It was to take some time to come up. Now it is available. So let's move on to that. So until and unless that the AMI is not available, you can't clear. If you see here, right, you got this error message. Right? This AMI is still in the pending state, right? So now launch. Now our instance launch is done. Let's open that instance. App server from AMI, right? This is the instance we now launch. So it is in pending state. Now this time we have not provided that user data section that uh, all the HTTP install, all this thing, right? So let's see, but this this app server, right? It has does all these details like this static web page. It should be there. So let's try this. Now it is running. Let's select that for public uh, DNS here. Try. <laughs> Now see it is coming right. I have launched two different instances. One is without my custom AMI. Uh, let me show you that. Uh, 
how many instances I have run here? State total three instances run, right? This is one custom from custom AMI, which just now we triggered. We can see our static web page, and one more instance we have launched here, the test one, which is don't have anything which is coming from default base image. Like uh, if you see here that uh, from the base image, whatever it is there, that uh, as it is blank. But we didn't install any customized thing here. So for that, we are not able to. If you hit that public DNS, we are not able to access that. So that also we have already seen that. OK, so if you hit here, let me show you one more time. So it is not able to reachable. And then what else we launch here? And one more EC2 instance, which is our from base image we have installed the first one, right? So if you hit this one, you can able to reach it. So hope you guys clearly understood about this uh, what the Amazon machine image and how we can use it. And uh, this kind of image basically we can use in our auto scaling. So I will give you that uh, video link in my video description. So you can take a look like how we can do the auto scaling part. With the load balancer okay so hope this session will helpful and if you have any suggestion or comment please put your valuable feedback in the comment section i will address that in the next uh session okay so we'll see you guys in my next session so thanks everyone for joining this session bye Chalo, see you